I've written out a bar and a bit of drum music, um, specifically cymbal music. I want to use it to demonstrate something to you. Let me first of all play it to you. See I've labelled the parts, so the first four notes are hi-hats, close then open. Uh, the next four notes are the right cymbal and the last notes are crass cymbal. Have a listen to this. Now that's fine. That's absolutely fine. However, there are some people, there are some drummers, who would prefer the right cymbal to be here on this ledger line and the crash symbols to be down there or further up or somewhere else altogether. In which case you have to then start looking at altering Sibelius's inbuilt drum map and that's what we're going to look at here. To access the map you would uh, highlight the drum part, that's the easy way to do it. Then you would go to the home tab, you see the instruments group here, you click on the dialog launcher here which will edit the instruments. And this is where you can edit the instruments. It's also incidentally where you can create your own brand new instrument that nobody's ever heard of before. You would do that by clicking from here and following through the, the, the following dialog boxes. But we're going to use the edit instrument button. You'll notice that the drum set rock has already been selected for us and the ensembles and the families within the ensembles have all been preset because that was set up when we created that instrument. So we're just going to edit that instrument from there. So I'll click on the Edit Instrument button. It says you're creating, you're editing an instrument that's currently in the score and is being used. Are you sure, basically? I'm going to say yes. And this is the dialog box where you can create your own instrument or you can edit one that's, that already exists, which is what we're doing here. You can see here, for example, you can set the range of an instrument. You can set the transposition if you if you decide you want to create, I don't know, a, a trumpet in G. Well, you could set that from there as well. You can select everything you have to select for your instrument. You can do it from here. All we're interested in in this video, though, is this button here. I'm going to edit the staff type. I click on there it shows me the drum map. Now, what this is, is an indication of all the sounds that the drum set uses. And you can see down here, for example, if I click on this one, it's telling me what sound is being used. Click on this one, it's telling me what sound is being used. Along with various other bits of information. These are all changeable, they're all editable. So the ones in this particular example we're interested in are up here. This one here is the right symbol, you can see that. This one here is the closed hi-hat. There's open hi-hat, incidentally. And this one here is the crash symbol. So let's say we want to change this. We want this uh, note here to become the crash symbol. And I want this one to become the right symbol. Easiest way to do that is simply to change the sounds that they use. So let's just do that just now. So I click on the note I want to edit, and I'm going to just choose the sound from here. I'm using Sibelius 7 sounds, and I'm using the Studio Drum Kit. So I go to the Metal, and there's all my symbols and stuff from there. So I'm going to choose the Crash Symbol. Let's just Crash Symbol 1. And I can listen to that, like so. Just for interest's sake, let's have a listen to Crash Symbol 2, see if we prefer that. Crash Symbol 2, if it's there. Have a listen. No, that's a wee bit too high pitched for me, a wee bit too thin sounding, so I'm going to change it back. Stupid drum kit, metal, Crash Symbol 1. And I can then change this one from the crash to sim again studio drum kit right symbol one and I can just check it again there you go from there and then click OK click OK and close and now whenever I play it have a listen And you can see 
that should be doing that now. And that's how you can tweak your individual notes and individual sounds on the drum kit to suit your own personal preference and taste.